Hey y'all, thanks for joining another Tea with Tim. This is a special edition of Tea with Tim as we head towards the end of the year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We've had a very challenging year in so many ways. 2020 is a year we'll never forget. Americans were hammered by the virus. We had significant job loss. I will say that without any question, 2020 is a year that most of us, it's ready, we want it gone. There's been some silver lining though in the middle of this year. And I want to take a, a few of these episodes and talk about some of the uh, silver lining because it's really important for us to look into 2021 with, with hope, with optimism, and a sense of expectancy. And one of the silver linings of this year, Canal, was the work that we did as an office on the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, nationwide, you were a part as my, the, the lead guy on the Small Business Committee for me. Uh, you helped us develop and, and work through the Paycheck Protection Program, saving somewhere near 50 million jobs nationwide. And at home in South Carolina, what was our impact? Over $5 billion to the businesses that needed it the most. And did you say $5 million? No, sir. I said $5 billion. Well, the boy. Be the boy. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Now, you know I was a small business owner. And I understand how hard it is sometimes to sign the front of the paycheck during good times. Signing the back of the paycheck is even harder for the employers. And this uh, Paycheck Protection Program was not about the employers. It was really about saving the jobs of the employees. Do you know anyone that was a small business owner or who is a small business owner? Well, sir, my father, he's a small business owner and just seeing him throughout this year, the hardships that he faced, uh, being part of the team that yes. helped uh, create the Paycheck Protection Program, it was just fantastic to be able to be part of the team that gave back, uh, that, that helped small business owners get exactly what they need to survive this year. Well, that's, to me, that's a very important and very powerful part of, of the team that I've been able to assemble, which with people who understand and appreciate the significance of the legislative work that we're doing. One of the pieces of good news for South Carolina and for our nation is that we have people on staff that are committed to the cause of protecting and preserving jobs in the private sector because they've understood it as a kid growing up, as a small business owner myself. Can you talk about the importance of getting a second bite at the apple, how important it would be for small businesses, the ones that I used to run, the one that your, your father runs? It, isn't it really important that we keep working to make sure that we reauthorize the Paycheck Protection Program, not just for small business owners, but for the employees? Of small businesses. Yes, sir. It's extremely important. We have to get this program funded again. And I think the good news here is that this is bipartisan. I think everyone understands that we need to get this program funded again so that employees can stay with the jobs that they have. Yeah, that's a really important part of the equation. As we head into Christmas season, as we go through the holiday season, one of the things I'm truly thankful for is having had an opportunity to design the Paycheck Protection Program with uh, experts on my staff, along with other experts on the Small Business Committee, who took the job of saving and preserving jobs seriously. Uh, that's good news. Thanks for joining Two with Tim. I'm in the past.